Poor soil fertility is one of the primary constraints smallholder farmers face in maize production in sub-Saharan Africa. The high cost of inputs, together with reliance on rain-fed production, cause most smallholder farmers to be reluctant to invest in expensive inputs such as fertilizer. Fertilizers have helped boost crop production in other parts of the world and were a key to the success of the Green Revolution in South Asia and Latin America. Currently, close to 200 kilograms of fertilizer is applied per hectare in South Asia and almost 100 kilograms is applied per hectare in Latin America. In Sub-Saharan Africa, only 20 kilograms of fertilizer are applied per hectare on average, the lowest of any region in the world. This has contributed to average cereal yields remaining below 1.5 tons per hectare in much of Africa over the last 30 years. Nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium are the essential macronutrients required for maize cultivation. Nitrogen is essential for the production of amino acids, enzymes and chlorophyll in plants. Of all macronutrients, nitrogen is required in the greatest amount by maize and is the primary component of most synthetic fertilizers such as urea and calcium ammonium nitrate. While nitrogen is found in soil, up to 98% is bound to organic matter and therefore unavailable as a plant nutrient. Only 2-3% to of soil-bound nitrogen is available to plants as inorganic nitrate. Most cropland in sub-Saharan Africa is heavily depleted of nitrogen due to repeated crop cultivation over several decades without replenishment. In fact, it is estimated that more nitrogen is removed annually from cultivated soils in sub-Saharan Africa than are replenished through synthetic or organic fertilizers. One approach to deal with poor soil fertility is to exploit natural genetic variation in maize to develop improved maize varieties that respond better to the small amounts of fertilizer applied by small-scale farmers in sub-Saharan Africa. Research has shown that there is substantial genetic variation for maize yield under nitrogen stress. Varieties have been identified that yield up to 50% more under nitrogen stressed conditions that are similar to smallholder production systems in sub-Saharan Africa. These varieties are often referred to as being nitrogen use efficient. Maize variety performance under recommended fertilization levels is not always positively correlated or predictive of performance under nitrogen stress conditions that prevail in sub-Saharan Africa. To identify maize varieties with improved nitrogen use efficiency, maize must be evaluated under nitrogen stress conditions. The most effective way to develop maize varieties that are better suited to low levels of nitrogen fertilization is to select directly under nitrogen stress. The most effective way to do this is to establish a network of well-managed low nitrogen screening sites. Together, these sites will provide the necessary replication and robust data across locations that breeders require to make accurate selections of new varieties. In this three-part video series, we focus on site development, managing low nitrogen trials, and data collection from low nitrogen trials.